Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I kind of want to give you guys the day, I think we're on day three of the Righteous Fire SSF Inquisitor. I didn't really play too much on Monday and Tuesday, so I sort of merged the days together. Uh, so we are currently 86 on our SSF journey. I'm just going to give you guys a little update. So uh, this is currently our Atlas. Now, last league, I decided to farm a six link card. And I believe it was in Overgrown Shrine, and then there was Overgrown Ruin. With Overgrown Ruin being changed, because it's in a higher tier now, uh, I wanted to try to farm it in Cage, which I think is a tier 11 map? Right here, actually. Literally this map. So we're going to farm Chains That Bind. That's our goal out of Cage. The layout's not too bad. Uh, it doesn't really stop us from progressing. So this is where we're going to try our six link strat. Now there is another six link strat, I think Carve was talking about it, you can get to tier 16 maps and then you can horizon orb all of your maps into, I forgot what map it is, but there's a natural T16 that also drops six links, I think it's Dapper Prodigy. But anyway, this is our strategy here. Um, so one of the things I want to talk about a lot of newer players ask me is what I do with my harvest. So I'm not at all an expert with harvest, I'm just okay at crafting very average pieces. So what I do with Harvest, as this is like the beginning of my character progression, is when I get into maps and I find a base that I know is usable for me, example, Armor ES or even Armor Evasion. I know Armor Evasion may seem weird for you guys, but I may be doing a Spell Suppression variant a little later. But anyway, regardless, Dex Base Amulets, Chaos Base Amulets, Dex Hybrid Base Amulets, Chaos Amulets, uh, or Chaos Rings, I just basically replace it in my harvest tab and as I find one that's higher level, I just replace it. So I have like a 75, a 75, a 76. Note that 75 on amulets is the availability uh, or the available level for plus one uh, fire gems, which I think plus one all gems in general, but plus one fire gems is, is why this is important. Um, I then have rings on the side for crafting. Usually my rings are done with betrayal, just very luckily unveiled through betrayal, right? Um, but if they're not, usually it's through Harvest. Uh, I have weapon bases here. These are all 40% Ellie. Uh, and I just roll them with like Reforge Fire, Reforge Caster. Belts are Reforge Life. Although uh, I think defenses on a belt is okay too because of like armor. Having a fat armor roll on your belt is not that bad. So we have Stygian Vices here. Um, these are the chest pieces. So example, I was just doing Reforge Life on mine. I hit Life, Life Regen, Physical Damage Reduction, Crafted My Life as ES call it a day uh, i off colored it you should off color with harvest if you have like a pure armor base but i actually just use chromes because uh, i felt like sinking currency and then i have one spirit shield here where if i want more damage i can try reforge fire on the spirit shield to try to get like percent fire with plus one gems that's pretty much my entire harvest process as of right now uh, i have this cluster jewel sitting in here it's a nine passive <clears throat> cannot roll master of fire but even if it hit three notables it would still be better than what I have here, which is like a smoking remains nothing. All right. With that being said, I'm going to go jump into a map real fast. Nothing super fancy. We're just still doing our Atlas completion. One more thing before we get started is what I'm actually doing with my Atlas. Um, so essentially, I path upward here, went through the shrine nodes. The only reason I went through the shrine is because I don't plan on coming over here to block. Um, went down here, grabbed some map return, came down blocked um heist since i don't really plan on heisting came down here to grab the extra harvest plot uh well basically extra harvest crafting option grabbed my sacred grove before moving immediately down here i immediately grabbed bumper crop uh moving upward over here i'm starting to go expedition uh expedition just because it's something i want to learn i always say i'm going to learn and then never really learn it oh hey i have an atlas point committed all right so expedition over here Coming across, I grabbed Stream of Consciousness for the 50% more base content. Uh, coming upward, we would grab the Buried Knowledge over here. Uh, and then I just grabbed Intelligence Gathering. And the whole point of Intelligence Gathering is to spawn Katarina infrequently so I can get my Flask Craft. All right, let's jump into a map. The only other thing is uh, my links are currently really dumb right now. Oh, also, my mouse is not correct. Give me one sec. I'm on my, on my Warcraft 3 mouse settings. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I don't have Ink AoE on my links yet due to the coloring on my chess piece. Uh, so that's definitely something we're going to have to uh, fix at some point. 
And then Sentinel, I still haven't really done too much with Sentinel. Um, so I want to I wanna learn a little bit about Sentinel. Uh, I have an okay idea about Recombinators, but I, I just would like to learn more about them. I always forget how smooth it is to progress in the early tiers, man. And boot. Oh, that's King Kingsmail? Kingsguard? Endurance Charge 1. Kingsguard. That would be a clear. Do the metamorph real fast. Okay, so just to kind of go over my gear, uh, we got a pretty simple weapon here. It's plus one fire with dot multi and burn. The only reason I crafted dot multi instead of increase is because I do not have access to much dot multi yet. Um, I don't have an anoint for arsonist, and I don't have. Well, actually, I do have the dot multi here, but anyway, I just and I felt the dot multi was more important at this point in time, so I went with the dot multi craft. Of course, you could always just pob what would be better or just test it in game. Um, standard ring here for chaos res. I did get lucky and I actually unveiled 20% fire. So this is basically my scuffed pyre ring right now. Uh, my helmet just has life and increased life regen. Uh, this is the same helmet as last time. It's pretty good because it has the <clears throat> physical damage from hits taken as fire with a chaos res roll. This is my amulet I want to replace, but it's got chaos res with a hybrid chaos res on veil with all res. I want to replace it because I found some offensive amulets with dot multi, but I don't know. Trying to give up that chaos res right now is really difficult. Uh, actually, I don't even remember where it is. This is actually not bad either, though. 50 life regen. Um, shield is still the same. 25% fire with plus one fire. Uh, you guys saw the chest piece. Gloves are pretty shit. They're just essentially high life with increased life regen with crafted decks. Belt has life, life regen, some armor, some chaos res. Um, and then my boots have hybrid chaos res. And uh, yep, you guessed it. We are actually 2% chaos res off of cap without a flask in SSF. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Technically, I could just bless this ring, but we don't have that many blessed orbs. Uh, yep. Other than that, the passive tree looks pretty standard. <clears throat> Where we're going right now is probably filling up this one point small jewel socket. And then from there, if I get good jewels, we're specking jewels. Otherwise, I'm probably going to spend two points at an armor ES mastery here to get reduced effective curses. I'll probably take this one because it has the reduced crit multi. And then I think I might spend the one, two, three over here. Or I'm just going to take Ellie Overload and just call it a day and not travel here. Because I already have a cluster set up. So I don't know if I can really justify traveling here. I do have to get a better cluster because I only have one notable and I do want to get better mediums because I want flow of life, but flow of life requires item level 75 or 68. Either way, these cannot roll it. Yep. So delirium farming is definitely on the menu at some point. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. As always, the POB is going to be linked down in the description slash the comments below. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everybody.